Manant, I'm back and today guys we're going to be heading out early to dig for some ragworm. Now we don't need a lot because this time of the year, in winter, the areas I fish, mackerel does a good job but I also like to pull out one rod with ragworm on it just in case. So I'm going to be just getting like 20 or 30 ragworm, It'll take about 20 minutes. What you need for digging for ragworm is a shovel or a fork. Now I'm probably going to get a lot of people here saying that a fork is better because it doesn't cut the ragworm. But I've tried both and personally I just like to show I just lift over a section and then I go through it with my hands. So it works for me. So shovel for me, like I said, you can use a fork if you wish. The next thing we need is a bucket uh, to put the ragworm in. And also you want to be bringing a cloth for your hands because it is a messy job and wellies is a must. So we're going to hit early on low tide and uh, let's get to it. Personally, when I'm digging, I find the best ragworm when the, the clay is like this. It's like a kind of a, a dark kind of grey and a bit stony. And generally, that's where I find uh, my best ragworms. Now, you can get them in the muckier sections. I mean, I try both, but I find I get the, the bigger guys in here. So, first thing I do, throw a little bit of seaweed inside my buckets. So you can do this two ways, you can dig a trench two or three foot long and then check along it as you dig it or you can dig a hole and go around it. The main thing is that you refill the holes after you dig them because you can fall in yourself or people coming after you can fall in them. So just to make sure that you're covering the holes before you leave them. Now, here's the end. Ragworm starting to show up now. Again, more ragworm. I just break the bits open with my hands, and then you come across the ragworm inside. Uh, little ones are fine, walk just as well. There's a big one there. You see, you see the, the telltale signs, the orange tails. There you go. Now I go to the sides of the track, each side, just open it out. Now, see, another one. He's obviously interested to see what we're doing over here. Heading on. There's in there. Another one. I start digging a hole and I walk around it and you see the likes of this ragworm here and then I'll just pick through with my hands and I'll walk around the hole and then once I have the hole done then I'll cover it back in. Empty out your buckets, put your ragworm in some newspaper, fold it over, fold it over and there you have your ragworm and put it in the fridge and it can last, that's the last for me up to two weeks in newspaper. Yeah, I find it better than plastic containers. So guys, I'm back home now. 
I did break my shovel at the end of that video because uh, my shovel was quite old. At Christmas I bought myself a few goodies, uh, reels and rods, but I uh, neglected my basic stuff to my shovel, so I've bought a new one now. Uh, the other thing you want to ask yourself, is it worth digging ragworm? I mean, if you have the time, it is 20-30 minutes, you can get enough ragworm for a session, and all you need is a shovel and a bucket and some old newspaper. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll touch you again soon.